best friend sent into the ancient past Becoming dinosaurs with the mystic ice blast To save humanity so they gotta move fast The steel rock will bring them to the dragon land Fearless of danger they have to take a stand the superheroes are ready for battle Using their special powers together Dino Frogs Driven to win one for all and all for one Dino Frogs Nothing can stop them, not even this run Dino Frogs Fighting together to save the whole planet It's time to end this game with the Dinofros. We await your order, sir. The storm will be my signal. May I remind you, Cobrax, I expect the best from your snake dragons. Understand? I will personally see to their training, Lord Nassaran. Fossil Bay will not bring salvation for the Dinofros. On the contrary, it will mark our species' greatest victory. <laughs> Morning, Eric. It's nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. The temperature outside huh? is 24 degrees centigrade. Mm, and it's, and a, it's beautiful a beautiful sunny, sunny day. day. And lucky for you, you don't have to go to school. But thanks for the wake up. Ah, hey, my headphones disappeared. Huh? Huh? All right, Eric, don't panic. <clears throat> they must be around here somewhere. Huh? Where could they have gone? Hmm. Must have lost them when we were following John. What kind of place is this? It seems like some kind of campground. Hmm. 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 Ha! 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 Good morning, John. Huh? Don't forget the water for the elephants. Okay, I won't. I guess you don't wake up early in the morning. Found them! Hmm? Oh! oh! Sorry, big fella. I didn't bring any peanuts. Now keep quiet. I'm incognito. Hope no one spotted me. Just beat it! Oh! oh! Cut it out! Huh? Hmm? Spike? Best of three? You're just lucky John and Eric are late. Well, let's get cracking. 
Mm-mm-mm. Come on out. I know you're there. Hmm. Hey, John. What's up? Next time you want to play secret agent, mm -hmm. you might want to think about hiding your bike first. What are you talking about? I wasn't hiding. I was just... Becoming one with nature? I don't think so. Um... Hmm. Maybe you didn't notice, John, mm -hmm. but the game switched on. Huh? Huh. Go grab your bike. Tom and Bob mm -hmm. are probably worrying about where we are. Hmm. So, John, do you really live here at the circus? Why do you think these trailer homes are here, you nitwit? Hmm. Hmm. What rotten luck! Don't judge me, Eric. No, I mean my tire is flat. Huh? You've got a pair of shoes, don't you? Just walk. If I could run fast and leap over walls like you can, that would be a great idea. But if I have to walk, it'll take all day. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Can't the guys meet us here? But... Oh, all right. <clears throat> Welcome to the man cave, fellas. Ugh. Ah. Cool setup you got, John. This reminds me of camping. Let's play the game. We really should get to work. Go to the past to win in the future. Let's go! Well, I'm going. Come on! Triceratops! Yeah, let's do it! Ah, Triceratops, you're the game master, Bob. <laughs> Got any food in the fridge? As a matter of fact, yes. But try not to destroy the place, Bob. That's right. The Lord of the Manor makes the rules. I'll be good. But what if someone comes by and wonders what I'm doing in your home? Tell them I left town because my privacy was invaded. By you. Uh. Hey, Bob. I apologize. Uh. And you're gonna too, Bob. You may have gotten a penalty, but there's still four quarters left to play in the game. Come on. I'm sorry. Ah. Huh. We're all friends again? I can't touch stuff, but I can look. John, you got an awesome life here. I hope you had a good breakfast because we've got a long walk across the desert to get to Fossil Bay. No dragons on the horizon. Yes, but keep your eyes open. Call that a fight? Now get up! If you want to beat the Dinofros, you have to learn to take punishment. Yes, sir. Bring on the next warrior. You're a disgrace. It's all starting to make sense to me now, John. If I grew up in the circus, I could do those jumps and somersaults too. Eric, just cut it out. We'd all like to be as athletic as you are, but just listen to what Eric's saying. 
Maybe you could be a real friend and give us some pointers or something like that. Just drop it. What did I say wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Whatever. Just stay close. Mm. We don't know what kind of dangers might lurk in this prehistoric desert. Mm. Mm. The only danger here is the heat. Mm. You should be used to being outdoors all the time, right? Yeah, that's right. I don't live like you guys. Hmm. What do you mean? You, Eric, Bob, all have gigantic homes with plenty of room and tidy little yards. Yeah, we're lucky. We all have homes and so do you. Yeah, but my house is just a shack on wheels, Tom. You I'd love to trade places with. So would Eric, so would Bob, everyone. But the circus is always on the move. You go to a new town, you stay there for one year, you make friends, and just when you start to think your life is normal, you have to pick up and move again. Get it? I'll be leaving. We're temporary. Huh? Oh. Hey guys, you ought to really come over here and take a look at this. What's up? This must be Fossil Bay. So what do we do now? Should we whip out our spin rocks and have a little fun? We better not. If we transform now, those villagers might start chasing us. Not a good plan. But where's the rock froze? As long as I am still Lord of the Dragons, I will use my last breath to fulfill the ancient prophecy. But I promised you a surprise, Dinofroze. Now you will receive it. It's up to you now, Eric. What kind of puddle is this? Huh? It's not a puddle, it's quicksand. <laughs> Eric! <laughs> Save your breath. He can't hear you. He's too far away. I bet the rock froze is inside the skull of that fossil. I bet you're right, John. But how are we supposed to get out of this quicksand, Tom? Oh, Dinofros will handle that. Let's get out of this goop. Look, what is it now? This is much worse than quicksand. It's not stopping them. Yeah, evidently these creatures also happen to be amphibians. Guess I was right about where that rock froze is hidden. And you'll never get to it, Dino Froze. When will you guys ever learn? You want some? Uh. 
Wow, cool! <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, mm. thanks for the free matinee show, little guy. Supposed to be the game master. Where is he? Oh. I'll take care of him. Aha! That's strange. There's no green light. Armor T Rex. Huh? Let's get away from here. Let's see how they fight away from the quicksand. They still haven't fired their poison. Now would be a good time for Bob to do something. I found it. The Rock Froze in Fossil Bay renders the power of our cards useless. Storm Rock Froze, opposing action! What's going on? Card enforcement screwed up. It's time to use the poison! You know what to do if they shoot the poison. Head for a nearby hospital and ask if they have any serum. We're gonna have to dodge them since Bob never gave us any armor to work with. Are you ready, John? <sighs> Look who dropped in to see us. The villagers are safe now. Excellent job, Eric. Three against Guys, the quicksand is swallowing the fossil. We have to go help John. First, we'll need to get rid of these jokers. Love the poison. Rock froze storm! Enhanced energy charge! Huh? Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. Now to take care of those loser lizards. Armor T-Rex. Right back at you.
Peace. I know that you've run out of poison, but I still have the power of fire. Power of the shockwave. The sands are solidifying, and John's still down there. The power of the rock froze is counteracting his own powers. He's stuck. I'm going down there. You can't, Captain. You'll be trapped like he is. But I've got an idea. Just leave this to me. Great, Eric. Mission accomplished, guys! Yes! yes. Now let's see if my hunch was right! There's nothing in here! And it looks like we've run out of time! Wait, look at these markings! We may not have found the rock froze, but if we learn what these markings mean, we might have a clue to where we should look next time! Once again, we prove that the Dynafros works because it's a team. John was rescued, Eric saved the whole village, and Bob did his job back home, and I... I told John that when it's time for him to leave, we'll find a way to stick together, because the Dynafros were meant to be friends forever, and nothing could ever change that. Save the whole planet. 